Hello and welcome, this is Rob Chisholm and I'm going to talk you through renaming and finding files in LumaFusion. So I'll just explain what I'm doing here. Um, here, LumaFusion, go to User Media, oops, User Media and we will go down to Shapes which is a folder I've made and basically all my PNG files are kept in here and I thought why don't I just rename a few like there's IMG there dash 6821 which is a um, gradient background so if I press and hold and then rename that so I'll just call it uh, grey for speed wise it's now been renamed, but obviously those files would not then be found in a project in LumaFusion. So I'll go to LumaFusion now. Uh, as you can see there, there's a little arrow, which is represented, if I turn touches on it, it'll help, which is represented in the uh, image there. So if I show touches, I'll show you what I mean. There you go, so that image there is missing which is um, this arrow here. So you, you might obviously go off here, you might go, oh, well, I'll um, rename that, because we know that arrow is going to be up here, is there. So you might rename, I call, oh, I call that WindMC. Um, so you could call that arrow red PNG. It's got PNG twice to see what happens, and it's not there. But if you were using Final Cut Pro, that would be your pretty much normal method. Well, the way to do it is to simply drag it like that. Um, get rid of that, and there we are, it's back. So if you've got missing files, they're quite easy, isn't it, really? Just pop it in there. And then that will give you uh, your missing file. So... If you wish to keep these, uh, they're in called imported shapes. So if we go to imported, back here, sorry. These are all the different folders I've added. So hopefully that makes sense, and that's just basically how to reconnect your uh, missing files. Many thanks, Rob Chisholm.